we're 22 minutes away. That means we're like nine hours from when we last spoke. We are in Wisconsin, baby. We are in Wisconsin, beautiful part of this country. Leaves are changing, blue skies, a little bit of cloud cover. It's cool. It's like right at 60, low upper 50s, you know. Cool, nice fall breeze. I mean, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I am literally 18 miles from XOP Hunt Camp. Super fired up. Fired up to get in camp, hang with the fellas. Really, that's what I'm that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm most excited about. And the hunting is kind of a byproduct of it. We'll be extremely fun as well but more than anything i'm looking forward to getting up here hanging with the boys and uh collaborating a little bit with uh with all the creatives about 15 20 more minutes we'll be there i'm going to meet up with uh tom and brock and tom said that there's a the spot that they're going tonight i could slip in with them and hang somewhere in the vicinity so Wisconsin, a state I've never personally hunted before. Looking forward to that as well. And uh, next couple days should be fun. Not like a button nose. What? You gotta do a line down it so it's not so. There you go. And then do the same. You gotta. Are you matched? I, I have no idea what I did in my face already. It's okay. Come oh. and look at the man. Oh, perfect. What do I look like? Oh, oh, I'm a bad person. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> it's like we're a little smaller chunk than we thought. Well, I guess we go find a crossing trail. Yep. Dude, call me, please. Dude, Tyler, okay, okay, so, hey, Tyler, did you see the text? He said the boys are screaming their heads off across on the island. This is a huge buck, bro. <laughs> Three to five minutes after a rattling sequence, all I hear is screaming, let's go, dude! Yes! Oh, dude, are you kidding me? Oh, 
better uh, freak out! So, the other thing is we could grab Sam for this. Dude, I freaking heard it. So we're set up 400 yards apart. Yeah. And I just heard, so the rattling sequence went off. And we're sitting here just kind of lollygagging, chilling. And then all of a sudden, I just hear Nick screaming. I mean, bloody murder. And I was like, they had to have shot deer. That's not a coyote. So I'm blowing them up. And as soon as he answers, their vultures is like, ah! Just going nuts. Yes. Dude, I mean, borderline could hear the shot go off from my tree. Really? <laughs> Holy <laughs> cow. So awesome. That's so sick. Well, we didn't have too much luck in the woods today. But one of the guys just shot a buck. So we're gonna go on a little recovery mission. That's always fun. Get my light. How far was he? That's the other thing we didn't hear. 40. What's up, 40 yards. I'm Nick. Nice to meet you, Dave. Nice to meet you, too. I've talked to you on uh, Instagram yeah, before. Yeah, for sure. But we also were at the base of the tree, and he goes, dude, tonight feels different. And I said, I 100% agree. Like, there's just a different feeling in the air. And we took and five steps past the tree that I wanted to get in, because he wanted to get in, like, a split, and then one in one tree and one in the other, like, right next to each other. And I was like, I said, can I be honest with you, man? I'm like, that's the tree. Like, if I was hunting by myself, I'd be in that tree or the one behind it. So we just analyzed it for a second. We're like, yep, we're that's getting in it. that tree. So we got in the tree. Rattled absolutely uh, nothing looked, until looked whatever down. time it was. Yeah, five thirty. That last two, that last two, two rattle got out of bed. Two yeah. rattle total. Yep. Yeah, first one rattle. and then what? Thirty minutes? Forty? No, it might have been an hour. It was like it was an, probably hour, an hour. It was an hour. Like, an hour, hour later, you I said, said "Dude, should we do it?" And he's like, "Let me text Tyler." And so he rattles. I grunt. Oh, we look like retards. I grunt the real Be me. When I heard it, I was like. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I felt so stupid. I'm like, it's October 11th. What the hell am I doing? I He's smacking antlers, and I'm just grabbing that tree and just. I mean, it was wild. What was his and attitude wild. like when you first saw him? Oh, yeah. they were super. They he didn't come in to fight. He, he wanted to come, come see, what he come see what it was. Okay. He came so to see what it was. Okay, so he wasn't like. It's that early season. He's not ready to fight yet. He's like, why is somebody else on my island? Yeah. It's a pretty. And he, he walks like through, too. and uh, he's like, oh, where, is he? where is he? I don't see him. He finally picks him one. up, oh, yeah. and then he loses him for, he's I don't know, 30 he's seconds. Big. He's heavy oh, as shit. I don't know where he is. And I go, he's still coming. He's about this to was the bad out. part. So I grab it my just bow, nicked that elbow. and I draw he's like, back. It and I'm hit the elbow and, and then drove in. So we're not... He stopped on his own once. Did you see it? I draw back, and I swing around the tree this way. And when I do that, all or nothing. The front tube catches my. Sight. You know, if he if he if he, he, he if he got in there, he's he's like I ten it. It. When he shot it, he's like I ten it. The only thing that was worrying us is when he was wheelhousing. Yeah, but I mean, he could have pulled that arrow out and well, run it. Well, what first Arn said is when he ducked, that elbow comes back, and he just nicked that elbow. Yeah. Fine, but if he got, got in there three inches, and he could be stop. into the game. Yeah, so, had so. <laughs> you look good. But yeah, I don't know. You didn't have much Yeah, I think it's all or nothing, too. Yeah. You could yeah. probably go in there and find it. Well, we're at the uh, boat ramp. XOP public land hunt camp, and we got to go recover a deer. But we're going to put a couple of us in and around the spot where we're going to recover just in case maybe he jumps up or another deer is in there and we can uh, get a shot as well but this should be this should be interesting to say the least the very least Where you want me? Dude, we need like a one yeah, exit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? Now you guys will be able to fit three people in there. hundred percent. And then we got four, five, six, seven, seven over there. So seven. I just wouldn't put any gear in that. So guys, keep us safe, keep us healthy, and let us find this buck, please. And shoot some more. And shoot And shoot some more. Uh, we thank you for the time. Thank you for all these guys that have come here. Let's just have a blast and give you all the glory. Your name is Frank. Amen. 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 This is as western as we get. <laughs> I wouldn't sit on this. I haven't sat on this in like three years. 
Paddling our way to Kodiak Island <laughs> and hoping for the best. We got a buck to find and hopefully some more deer to shoot. just got to my destination. I'm only, I only got two sticks, but I might get in this tree and figure it out. All right, you guys, well, I'm officially set up. We've got kind of a unique situation on our hands. One of the guys in camp last night shot a really nice buck and didn't get a whole lot of penetration. We left him overnight. Those guys are way, I mean, probably, I don't know, quarter, half mile that way. And we have a couple of us that's set up. I'm on the new retrograde stand. I got two sticks set up. I mean, I'm literally five feet off the ground but we set up in here because there's a lot of deer in here. We just set up people out in front. They're gonna get on the track and start tracking the deer. And if they find them, great. If they bump them, maybe we'll be in position and one of us can uh, get a follow-up shot if necessary. So kind of a crazy scenario. We're, uh, we're getting after it this morning. It's supposed to rain this afternoon. So hopefully they can get on blood pretty quick and hopefully they just find the deer. But I got a doe tag in my pocket too and I'm definitely not, not gonna be afraid to use it. This is a sick little setup. I'm kind of bushed in here out at the end of this finger and I'm overlooking this massive, massive marsh. So we'll see. It's gonna be fun sitting here anyway. And I got a hell of a view, that's for sure, so. Do a big buck dance. Hopefully, we can uh, recover this deer and have a, have another reason to celebrate later. I just seen one of the boys climb up into one of the trees that are kind of bordering the marsh. I'm assuming that uh, 
Obviously that means they haven't found them yet, but they may just be grid, grid surgeon right now. I haven't seen a deer yet, but I keep hearing some commotion over by Brock. But man, this is one giant, giant marsh and massive, massive bedding area. No wonder the deer love it in here so much. The rubs are just insane. But they got their own little palace out here. I mean, there's deer trails everywhere. There's one main one coming out of the marsh right here. But this is the last day for me in Wisconsin, headed up to uh, Nodak tomorrow to meet up with Dino. Then we're going to get after it, try and try and fill our North Dakota buck tags. All right, well, I just got down and I'm going to go meet up with the boys there. Not far. in right up there because we followed the blood trail took a left after his bloody bed follow him in here we got 15 feet in there and also you probably would have never came this way yeah if he hits that cat tell you ain't seen him you'd hear him well you can't hear anything because it's just the windy well i'm saying if he goes running through it yeah yeah you could hear you'd be able to hear him but they would that he was still bleeding on the way out even though it's only a little bit it's like right a couple of minutes and then you guys yeah anyway a couple of these blood on four guys with bows we're gonna hit two guys in this island, two guys in this island. The other three are gonna loop up and push the big island down towards us because these are two obvious choke points for them. For them. So we're gonna be set up here. You guys are gonna go around, drive this way. If you get here and nobody sees him, nobody hears him, we're gonna drop down, go around the island, and we're gonna do it again on the south. Mm -hmm. Deal. Bring. I hope you got that time because I have no idea. And if you done. guys, if the three of yeah. you who are driving find blood, well, obviously with mark it with so that we have a good idea of where he just was because we know he was right here. These three spots that we're going are open. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So It'll we'll, be. we're just going to get down here and then we're just going to shoot straight across. You're going to go a little bit. You're going to go across the marsh. Yep. And it's like, I mean, your pants might get muddy. I'm not sure unless we that. switch yeah. unless you go over there and you sit on the island with me like across yeah, from yeah, me okay, okay. but shit yep. this is good. not We're on this deer and now Well, unfortunately, we're going out empty-handed. No recovery. It's not for a lack of trying, that's for sure. Well, 
I didn't think we were going to be doing this today, tonight, but we're back searching for the big boy and we got a dog coming in with us now. We're going to find him. This is our duty to seek all options and exhaust all options in order to find the steer. So what we what we we blown it up and been Walked we got a camp full of t you know ten different killers and everyone said what happened was he went to drop yep. and that elbow came back and he clipped that elbow and, and didn't, didn't get, get the, the penetration. penetration. But that's what I'm guessing the shot was. Well, you should be. should be in that. So that's almost just like the track I'm telling you. You probably just blew out some of the heart, and that's yep. what's making him live a little longer. Yep. Oh, I love it makes hearing that. That's Actually, the last three shots I've been on are the same one that you went on, or the same shot as yours, and uh, all were recovered. Oh, so geez. that is a good thing. I mean, I don't ever want to guarantee anything. No. You, no. you can in tracking, no. sure. by no means, but he's going to switch script. It's kind of like hitting like an invisible wall. You're going to yeah. see it changes everything, and he's just going to knuckle down. <laughs> But when he does that, that's when like all of us honestly need to look a 360 direction yeah. because he's down and I'm going and following. It is so hard for me to physically look up see and look see, yeah. you know so what I mean? We'll, so we'll be on when you yeah. see, and I'll say it, you'll see on this track, I'll explain a lot. You know, I'll be like, okay, you know, you'll be able to read him too. Okay. He's pretty readable. Uh, but like I said, when he starts acting funny like that, that's when all eyes need to be on that because we yeah. have dark you know what i mean yeah. so you're gonna yeah. have to look all the way around sure. because okay. he could be going this way and that deer did that circle do you see what i mean yeah. and he yeah. could be right yeah. here yeah. and we, yeah. like you just said what we do know now about him is he let you guys come close yeah. right. so